So, like, what's your point? What is it, Marcy? Is someone there? This old man, by the way, uh, also gives a lot of exposition. I don't uh, think I've known a girl named Marcy who isn't, like, Marcy. blonde. Lower the ladder, please. Uh, what about? That's not true. I've known one Marcy. What about from um, Charlie Brown? That Marcy has dark hair. Yes, you're right. I've known several Marcy's who don't fit that pattern. If you do not know you were not allowed in here, then you must not be one of our dragoons, but three of our dragoons. Oh my gosh. Isn't that Radius? No, Radius was, oh, it's the same voice because I can only do one old man voice. Who oh am I? You must be. <laughs> That's my old man voice. No, I get it. My house grown. Oh, stop it! <laughs> You sound like an old man whale. <laughs> like a whale with laryngitis. <laughs> he was in Finding Dory. Patience, child, I need to have a word with these people. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> <laughs> and how do you... Oh, I already know. Shit, I was reading the... There's too many girls that have blonde girls in this scene. I don't explain. I are guess you... you could say I am the prophet of time. Are you going to be the old man? Because he's got yeah, a lot of lines. Listen carefully. He's the a world, prophet now. The world is not just a single entity. In another <laughs> world, similar to our own exists in another dimension. <laughs> you cannot keep the same accent for two yeah, lines. You will find what you might have become. A world of possibilities that might have existed. Um, a whole history that uh, is out know, there somewhere. <laughs> We're simply unable to see, feel, or experience. Hold on, hold on, we're tripping. <laughs> the, the game what is, is this, the Book of Miracles? It's all out there, but it's all fake anyway. Ah, oh, world map spinning. This world's not the world you grew up in. Yeah, I grew up playing Chrono Trigger. <laughs> Ten years ago, something happened that put your very... Soul teetering on the bouncing scales of fate. Uh, it was more like five years ago. With a 50-50 chance of life or death. This is when your future was split in twain. So this guy is actually explaining the whole alternate universe thing that we already kind of figured out. In your own world, you survived okay. survive to live a happy and prosperous life. There we go. That is how you made it to the present point in time. Over here in this quote-unquote alternate world, you're in fact very dead and buried. So we'll rectify that. Step, step, step. Ouch. You died ten years ago, but this world's timeline is flowed on regardless, because you're really not that important. You have no place in this world. Here, you are but You have no place in this world! There is no love in you. <laughs> I do not know what happened ten years ago. Nor can I guess what triggered your entrance into this world. Um, then what good are you, prophet? <laughs> then what are you asking? Like, how are you getting all this information if you don't know any of this? Locations where such divisions in the time-space continua occurred are... Continua? There's more than one? Long divisions. Angelus Errare! Or Angelus Errare. Where Angelus angel Errara. Where angels what on earth? where angels lose their way. Hey! Where angels hey, make error messages. Angelus Errare! <laughs> Give us some wings and harps. 404, angel not found. It is said that there that borders of two dimensions fluctuate in such as ways to make baby dimensions, make the passage between parallel realities a possibility. Perhaps in this world you're the missing piece from a giant jigsaw puzzle. It's all coming and together. And maybe, just maybe, we can make out. The vacuum created by your non-existence here has drawn you across the border between the dimensions to fill, fill the void in that puzzle. Just like a guy who had 999 pieces to a thousand piece puzzle and just decided to draw in the last piece. <laughs> uh, <no>. Doodle. <laughs> of course, no one can say for sure, except for me, because I'm the exposition fairy. I knew you were some kind of a fairy. You know, like a magic bean. I just ripped a wing. piece off of my controller. That was weird. He's going stark raving mad, ah, folks. We're, it appears as though these two worlds are connected by some unknown force. Welcome back, uh, Fast Eagle. We're not using Pashul. We've got the rocker. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on the location, the two worlds influence each other in strange ways. My alternate self... <laughs> Tells me to burn things, but I don't listen. <laughs> I'm quite certain there's a wormhole that connects the two parallel worlds here in the Gamma Quadrant. It's made of worms. Oh, it's a prophet talking about wormholes. This is Deep Space Nine. <laughs> Emissary? For your information, if you press the start button while on the world map, totally breaking the fourth wall, a menu window which will appear that allows you to display which world you are in. <laughs> he totally just 
destroyed the fourth wall. Well, somebody had to do it. Well, Darned of a prophet would do it. Uh, what you say is true. And if you press start on the main menu, you get to display what world that we're in. <laughs> then walk the body out and search toy. Welcome to the tutorial, you know, two hours into the game, folks. <laughs> the reason has to be something that happened ten years ago. Well, that's what he just said, kid. Were you not paying attention to that no. 20 minutes of exposition? You only find out by playing the rest of the game. Uh, no way am I going to let you play the rest of the game. Shut up, you brat. Crikey. <laughs> hey, is Master your real name? <laughs> Wicked wow. Like, whatever. Ugh. You, you look just like mother. <laughs> there is no other like mother. There's no doubt about it. You're my little sister. Yeah. I sound more like the cat now. <laughs> oh, what's with you? Whatever. So apparently uh, she's the little sister of the rocker, but uh, she doesn't really care. Why is her name Marcy? Because her mother named her Marcy. That Wait. was hard. <laughs> no, it's, it's got Mickey and Nikki and... Mickey is not related to Nikki. Then why do they have the same name like a bunch of idiots? They went into business together. Maybe it's the stage names. It's dumb. Anyway, we ain't here to play Jax. What? We're not here to play Jax or Tiddlywinks. We're not here to play some sort of like a backgammon. What? This little brat's one of the four Davis. <laughs> Too late now. She's actually, um... A fairly difficult boss fight. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Who is, Marcy? Yeah, she doesn't have a family either. Wait, is she the boss? Yes, she is the boss! I thought that was Angela. No, Angela... 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 Angela Irare! <laughs> uh, we're anyway. fighting Mia on the stream. No, we're fighting you, uh... Don't stop hitting that little girl in the face! Well, somebody, take this! Kick. At least he has 21 points on that kick. Is that good? It's Dasher and Slasher. Slice him and dice him. After you finish this plot point, I have a free conversation you can use to fill up time. Are, are you talking to us? Okay. Um. Well, the good thing, Marcy's got like a ton of health too. And she attacks more than once in a row. But she is blue, which means that you can use red stuff on her. Very sad. But first, let's uh, steal stuff. Aha! I've stolen from a little girl! I s like taking candy from a baby. I stole Lupe! <laughs> Put her back to Mexico. I love this. fighting with the power of rock. It just makes me happy. You think you're so smart, then how about this? Cats in the cradle and the silver spoon. Little boy blue and the man on the moon. I just did 65. When you're coming home, son, I don't know where. Look get the kettle down. I'm the lead singer singing on Creed. <laughs> anyway, so we just actually have to keep on top of healing in this battle. It's Do it! I am. She's being healed right Do now. Do it more! Healed with the power of love and rock. And rock and roll! Strong man. Power of strong man. Sliced with arrow saucer. So it looks, look, wow, we're almost done. We've sure beat her real well. Yeah, it looks like that does it. Wog! Ice blast! Ouch. Now your rock has been frozen time. She freezes two of you. Luckily, she's freezing the two characters that are not the strong character. Oh, she didn't actually freeze, kid. Uh, so, uh... <laughs> she just froze the rocker. Which, uh... I think we all wanted that to happen. You okay? <laughs> nothing to say to that. Stop beating up that little girl. She's supposed to... Late in the battle, she's supposed to, like, use a cure spell on her, but she didn't, so that actually was easier than I thought it was going to be. Oh, well. I guess beating up on the nine-year-old girl wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. Go figure, huh? <laughs> anyway. He doesn't turn nine till January. It's not over yet. I'll get you next time. Yeah, but this will post in, like, May or 
June or time, maybe September. Nine. Who knows? Ho, ho, ho! I did not think you were able to defeat Marcy. Very well. I shall advise you of your next step. I'm not going to read Santa Claus anymore. There are eight pillars standing in the main hall. Behind the second glass left is a button to release the platform. Dragoons are not allowed up there. So as best you go up as you are, so we don't have to animate you in those uniforms anymore. Beware, however, the elevator holds a terrible curse. <laughs> that I comes mean, with the free frogger. <laughs> there's much stronger being you will encounter than the nine-year-old girl. Uh, anyway, that guy, um, he looks like Belthazar from Chrono Trigger. Blog? He's got the same hat. Anyway. Blarg? Okay, so back across this bridge that you love so much, you want to make out with this bridge. I'm gonna make out with you in a second anymore that edit. Wait, what? Um, let's just move on to this French clown. <gasps> oh, you oui, oui, monsieur. Wait, I gotta read this. Okay, do it. Um, so you're a surge. That <laughs> wasn't French at all. No, I keep, know what you're trying. Keep I know going. You're, you're trying to do a Harley Quinn You're voice. even more sexy than I thought, Mr. J. Ooh la la. <laughs> Who the bloody hell are you? <laughs> I'm not even doing Australian. I just really want to know what that accent was. <laughs> And this vulgar one... Anyway, I'm not going to do that anymore. <laughs> and this vulgar one must be kid. You discuss more. What you say? You're going to insult someone who used to at least speak proper English, go blimey. <laughs> you had too much R for that oh, proper. Oh, right. Well, je m'appelle Harley. You mean, je m'appelle Harley. <laughs> Mr. I'm a pal Harl, Mr. J. I am the right hand Harlequin to Monsieur Lynx. Serge Mon Puke. <laughs> <laughs> if you lie down with a dog like this, Femma, you will surely catch fleas, non. <laughs> I think you can do much better if you gave her up, Mr. Serge. Actually, I suggest you all turn back. You puke. <laughs> you should not defy him. Why, for in life and boy, what's your problem? <laughs> or Jerry Lewis <laughs> and Harley Quinzel. Please, Monster, Mister Surge. <laughs> I would hate to see anything ha sad happen to you. That cha cha cha. I've had it up to here with you. Tyze's booze. You shut up. <laughs> You shut up. I am having a serious conversation with George. <laughs> Mr. Serge. Why don't you mind your own business? <laughs> That's it. Put up your pukes. <laughs> oh, I'm going to kick you off so hard you'll kiss the moons. You are the one who is going to have her derriere kicked, non. <laughs> non. But alas, I cannot be caught fighting you here. <laughs> now you're just being... Just... Imagine the trouble I would get into. Au revoir, Mon Mr. Serge. <laughs> no. See you again. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that's Harl. Not Harley Quinn. One more line. And Sergi, please dream of moi. What? Oh, why? <laughs> oh, I do. I'll dream of the French clown. Jeez, what's her problem? Okay, she that's 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 Harl. Harley. She actually just named Harley. Je m'appelle. Uh or Harl. It's like Marl, but with an H. No, this one's Harl. Ah! So we almost squashed the dragoons, and then they fight us, but whatever, it's an easy battle. Um, she actually has a lot more to do in this game, so I don't know if you want to keep up the Harley Quinn voice or not. Yeah, I don't know. It kinda of hurts my jaw. <laughs> just talking in general. Yeah, just some general. <laughs> New York accents hurt my mouth. <laughs> Mr. J. Mr. Jaw. <laughs> wow. I think I really did empty out chat with that Zoa voice. I think so. Because the only person who's talked since then has been Fast Eagle, and he wasn't around for it. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Maybe next time just scream for two minutes straight. <laughs> Well, I don't think he has any more lines for a very long time, so I think we're good. We can only hope. I, I really, I, I don't think he has any more lines tonight. Almost definitely, he might have one. I don't remember if he comes back. He whispers very quietly. <laughs> Man. Yeah. I am so hot. If you yell it, he will come. 
Oops. I think the avalanches have stopped. <laughs> you know, that used to be cool. What, the substance? No, the the guy uh, hitting you over the head with a guitar. Yeah, you know what? It 900 times. Now. It still is, though. Good job. You thought I was going to say it's getting old, but it's not. It's still awesome. I didn't know what you were doing. I'm slicing people in half with green. Now I know what you're doing. <laughs> Beware the power of green. Of greed. Beware the power of greed. Um, the power of greed. <laughs> Thanks for that. You're welcome. All right, we're almost done with the Viper Manor. All we got to do is ride this up and uh, pretty much finish. Thank goodness, Mr. J. <laughs> so do I, Mr. J. What? You? Who'd have thought it? Mr. Adam, dear Mr. Adam, or Mr. Jefferson? I screwed up. Never mind. I'll stop quoting. Mr. Seven. Hamilton, Mr. Hamilton. No, that's a different one. All the that's best Alexander plays. Alexander Hamilton. What? All the best plays on Broadway were about <laughs> the about the founding Ameri fathers. Yeah, the American Revolution. Um, some of them are. Just two of them. Ah! He's stupid, Will of the Wisp. But I gotta stop walking in the middle. I'm fighting so many Disney faces. You know what? Screw it. <laughs> I'm running away. Yeah, it seems like the type of thing you would do. Because there's no grinding in this game. Like, I, I might, like, miss getting, like, 5G. I can just run around this thing. Mm. Yeah, whatever. All right, here we go. Here's the frozen flame. <gasps> Oi, could this be... Oh, no, it ain't the frozen flame. Fooled ya! It's <laughs> just his paperweight. <laughs> Don't see any other booty here, either. Oh, oh, oh. Chevalina. I see. Oh, wait, she's not a... <laughs> she's not, no, it's, 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 um, good old Larry there. <laughs> hey, what about my booty? Sick. I guess I'll better ask the general directly then about his booty. Um... um. What is it you wish to ask about my booty? What? My compliments on getting past my security. <laughs> Congratulations, here are your medals. Oh, you've now, been very clever to come this far. Now may I ask you, who in heaven's name are you? So you're General Viper, eh? You don't even look like a snake man. Don't find ignorance on me now. General Viper, I should have known when you came on board. I sensed your foul stench. It's not... More or less. What did you send your dragoons to get me my surge here? Uh, surge? My dragoons? Wait, I have dragoons? Wait, where am I? <laughs> the Alzheimer's kicking in. I'm afraid, my dear, I haven't the foggiest idea of what you are talking about. All right, here's Madeline's favorite character, presumably. What, uh... General, I believe these vermin are here to see me. That's not a mystery man, that's a mystery cat. It's, it's a mystery cat man. Look, he's a furry. He's a cat man. Zip -dip 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 He's Catman Crothers. Catman well, Crothers? That's right. Well, it seems you have saved me the trouble of finding you. Oh, 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 oh. Lynx? Get it? Because he's a cat guy, so his name is Lynx. Like the cat. I don't think it's a joke. Young what else girl. would you call him? Yeah, Bob? I don't know. Are you? you? Could call me John. That's my What's name. the matter? Cat got your tongue. Ah, I'm making the jokes you now. See, the reason the oh, joke is funny is that ah. by the tail now, Lynx. That's not even a joke either. Oh, I've come for two things: the frozen flame and a make punch and, and a fish and your life. <laughs> ah, so you must be kid then. Kitty um, cat. Oh, then I can make terrible jokes too. A member of the fearsome band of thieves knows the radical dreamers, correct? Consisting of this pirate boy and the punk rocker. I've heard all about you people who just met up right now. <laughs> radical dreamers. <laughs> this young... Thanks, Millhouse. Precisely. Don't let her innocence fool you, General Piet. She's not Admiral as innocent Piet. as she's the... She is quite she's... ferocious. <laughs> Britney Spears. What the? She's not that innocent. Ha! Ferocious! My arse! That's a war too dumb. It's R, R, R. Ah. Uh, I hate to disappoint you, but the frozen flame is not here. It's in my... Another castle. <laughs> it's in another castle. 
That fire is lies hidden in the Sea of Eden. The place where past and future collide. <laughs> I thought you were saying the Sea of Evil. The Sea of Evil. It's where past and future collide, also known as the thrift store. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Looks like I'll put that poor off to later. <laughs> I'll settle my score with you, Lynx. Prepare to meet your maker, Squaresoft. <laughs> Bandai Namco. Ah, son. <laughs>